I'll start with you with that. So we're going to have heels together, toes apart, and we're going to slide them to here so the balls of the feet and the pinky toe knuckle is there. Much less tabling. <laughs> and then when you're ready, just go ahead and press the carrots all the way out. And then bend it in if you need to. Just tip the flower. And slide them in, you're good. I'm going to feel your butt just gets a little bit heavier to press out rather than popping it up. Toes kind of staying close to each other. So your feet look like fans. Just nice being here for now. <laughs> Let's go three more. Legs try to hug them together, right? The pelvis. And then just stay in. Let's go to the balls of the feet. Let's stay parallel together. And go ahead when you're ready. Press out and stay. You're going to lower the heels so they come just under the bar and then back. Go down and up. Now make sure as you lower the heels, you lose the, the springs and then spring from the springs. And then start to go just a little bit further so you start to feel a little more stretch. But not too much stretch. Let's do that three more times. And then lift your heels up and bend your knees to thumb all the way down. And then your knees into your chest. We're going to move into the 100. I'm going to give you this handles. Keep your legs in tabletop for a sec. Okay. Give yourself a little space in the shoulder block. And when you're ready, let's bring the elbows by your side. Curl the head and shoulders up, press the arms out, send the legs up towards the silver bar here, and start pumping the arms up and down. Inhaling through the nose for five. And then really exhale for five here. Inhale through the nose for five. And then really exhale into your abdominals. Good. Keep that going.
watch out for all the <clears throat> So your shoulders will be just slightly past the corners of the body. And that's not going to work. <laughs> okay, step off the set. Let's spin around the other direction. I like when you're doing some of the straps just a little more. Right? And while you're doing that, pull the kettle just a little Yeah, let's try that way again. The same way? Feet to the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing hamstring curls with a circle. So for now, you just place your hands down on the carriage. I'm going to tuck the one handle of the circle into your butt cheek, and you're going to bring your heels in to so there. Yeah. So the idea, hopefully, is that you can kind of cradle the heel bones to kind of cradle that handle, and the sit bone cradles that one. You're just going to hold it for a second. Now, your other leg's just long and easy. Abdominals are scooped. Now keep your hip bones grounded on the box and try to squeeze the spring. In two and three, slowly release it. Good. Do that again. Squeeze in two, squeeze in three, and slowly release it. Good. Feel that muscle contract. Feel the sits bones. Just do that twice more. Good. Make the heel come to the sits bones. On your next one, hug it in as strong as you can. Feel the muscle and a little pulses. Ten, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, nine, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Good. And then we'll switch sides. Can you put a hand on the other side? You're going to do it. See if you can find it. We only have an hour. <laughs> so sit down. And you can adjust it if you need to. Now you're just going to try to connect it. Now hip bones are nice and grounded. Think inner thighs too. And squeeze the spring. Slowly release it. Good. Find the gap. Pull. Squish it. Slowly release it. Good. Three more times. Now support the side. Support with your bone muscles so you don't spill the ribs. Support so you keep the hip bones strong. Good. Good. Now the next one, hug it. Try to feel your whole hamstring little pulses in. Ten. Nine. Okay, this one may help you. Right. I want you to try to find my ear. Yeah, good. Four, three, two, one. And I'm going to take that time and just stretch your legs out. Good? So go ahead and reach down and take the handles off the peg. And you're going to walk with the straps. So you're holding on this little button. And pull the straps outside the wood frame for pulling straps. So knuckles to the floor. Now you're going to try to keep your arms straight and try to initiate from right here. Now pull the arms along the frame back to your hips. Push your knuckles to your feet and try to lift your chest just a little, not too much. Good. Slowly resist the spring side. Do that one more time with that precision. You're going to drag the knuckles along the floor, press back, squeeze the shoulder blades back, and slowly resist spring side. Good. Let's do three more. Just now press the press the back, pull the front, resist spring. Good. Make sure your abdominals go with you. Side of you to open your arms to the T. Okay, maybe you won't do that there. Good. Scoop your abdominals up, pull your arms to the hips here. Straight back. And then open out to a T. Resist the springs in, right? Good. Pull. Dynamic, right? Now control and release. Just two more. Grab that black strap down there and you place your feet under the black strap. And your feet can go as wide as they'll go with your hips on the box. You might scooch for just about half an inch, so at least it's on a little bit of the arch of the foot. Let's wrap your arms around your tummy and curl the tail under and hug your abdominals in and just start to roll back. And then pause, look at your your bum tucked under and roll back as far as you can. 
and then keep that filling as you round forward over the arms as if you're still trying to keep your bum tucked under. Yep, exactly. And you're gonna repeat that. Inhale to roll back. Tuck, 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 tuck. Good. Now release, scoop back as you dive forward. Just two more there. Now grab your wooden bar, and you're not going to have enough room overhead, but you're going to hold it up along the horizontal bars as high as you can, if you can, and then just soften the shoulders a little bit. Now you're going to hug your hips, so you're going to squeeze your toes into the palm, and try to hinge back here. Three, two, one, come back up with your hips still squeezing, and then rest. Do it again. Hug, lift, hinge back three, two, one, come back up, and lift. Two more times. Hug, lift, hinge three, hinge two, hinge one, squeeze, and come up, and lift. One more again. And good, good. Now find a little bit of that wrapping of your muscles there. Pitch slightly forward now. Pull back on the strap. Now I bend a little to the right. Now as you do so, I want to feel that left system pitch slightly forward and get that lift and stretch here. Good. Come back to center. Stay pitch slightly forward. And here you go left. Again, feel that right system. And for that length, reaching from there, come back to center. Do that one more time each side. Ground foot lengthen. Good. And then back to center. Ground foot lengthen this way. Up to the right. And this time take a small hinge on the diagonal and push your heels away from you as you do it. Good. And then come back up to center. That's funny. And then twist left. Then you're going to hinge back toward me, pushing your heels away. And then back into the center. Good. Twist right. Hinge. Push your legs into the ground. Come back up. And twist left. Good. Now try not to gap. Come back up to me here. 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 And then back up. So one more time each side. And back to here. Can you float though? Yeah. Can you just do it here? Yeah. And then just come back to my back up. Yeah. And then to me. Good. One more time each side. And then I just feel that. And I feel that sense of lift as you do this too. Come out of your hips, out of your hips, out of your hips, and up. A roll the boat. So you take the bar up to the sky. You're gonna round toward your leg. You're gonna actually go all the way down here, all the way as far as you can. Yeah. And then bend the elbows, bend the bar to your hips, and out. Now inhale here. Exhale. Round the spine. Bend the elbows. Pull it through. Take your time. It's a stretch. Reach. Bend and your legs. Let's go into a heavy chair. You're gonna pull your right knee to your chest. I need to adjust the strap so you have tension on it. You're gonna sit nice and tall here. So you're gonna hug the leg with your shin, and then hold behind the thigh. You're gonna try to kick this silver bar three times. You're gonna kick it up, bend it, kick it to the left, bend it to the left. One more time. This is bend the knee to you, really lift up your spine. Now you're gonna take the circle, hold one hand and put your foot inside the other. Ball the foot. And then now you're gonna try to keep your spine lifted as you push the leg up into the circle. Lift and then bend it back to you. You can do that twice now. I'm just gonna bring them with my head a little higher. Bend, lift, kick high. Good. Now bend it and keep it straight, I'm sorry, straighten it and keep it straight. Chin to chest. Now you're gonna start to roll back with the tail, and then press into the circle and roll it back up, lift to the top. Good, chin to chest, press the tail, roll it back. And then roll it back. One more time, roll it back, and you're back lifting a nice stretch across here. Good, and pull in here. Go back a little deeper if you can do it. Pull, 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 pull. Good, and then come back up, and let's switch legs. So you're gonna start holding your chest up tall. Hold back of the thigh, keep your spine lifted, and try to kick the silver bar three times. Good, into the circle, hook it. Spine lifted, elbows a little over, and you're gonna kick the sky three times again. Good. And then keep it straight and start to roll back. Two. And back up. Good. And then again, roll back. And this time as you roll back, you can take one of the legs with you. Scoop the waist back nice and deep. And then roll back up. Good. One more time. <laughs> Just to get a little more out of it. Not too comfortable. Try to roll up to the leg first, and then lower the leg and also back to nice and good. So keep that foot hooked. You're gonna turn onto your left hip and put your left hand in the hand for side sit-ups. 
You're gonna get on the hip and you have two options. You can rest this knee up here or hook the foot behind this leg. It's your choice. Okay, so we're gonna to try to turn this heel, get this foot hooked a little bit more into the strap. Yeah. You're kind of wrapped in there. Okay, so top hand behind your head, your hips nice and stacked. Find your scoop in your belly and try to bring your bottom hand behind your head and just hold the position, lengthen through the crown of your head. Now lower two inches and then lift two inches. Good, lower two, lift two. So you're the amount of pulling the strap toward you, but also pushing your leg out. Good, one more time. And then you're gonna make it a little bigger. You're gonna go into the well and then lift up. Good, three more, into the well. And now, good, two more. Use your muscles, pull, use that breath now. Exhale, look up, rest your hand, lower to your elbows, and then take a side stretch now. Good, now after the reach. Great, come on back up, you're gonna switch sides. Yeah. Good, so you're nice and wrapped in there, top hand behind your head, working through the ankles, hip and shoulder in a straight line. You're gonna open this elbow a little bit. And when you're ready, play your abdominals in, bring your bottom hand up. You're gonna lower two inches, lift two inches. Lower two, lift two. Now I'm gonna have you go straight up. Good, three more. There you go, yeah, lift deep inside, deep inside. Good, and you're gonna make it bigger, so go into the well, and then I'll come up. Good, over the body, up with the body. And exhale up. Good, powerful exhale. Put that diaphragm and wait one more time. Good, lower the hand, lower to your elbow, and now take a nice active stretch, good. Now when you're actively stretching, think of the ribs spacing out, the waist, push your heel to the wall, and take a big breath in. Good, lift yourself up, and go ahead and turn around and step off. And I'm gonna have you take the bar. into long stretch. So for long stretch, just so you know, it's a little harder on this great performer. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> As you're gonna come into a push-up position, ideally you would step into it and be there, but you have to kind of get on your knees here. So you get on your knees, put the balls of the feet in the crease of the headrest, hands on the foot guard, and if you don't pull it off the ledge there. So you're gonna go in between the shoulder blocks and use little creases here for that little crease there. Now you're going to come up to a push-up position. So when you're working, work on holding the carriage in, using these muscles here, right? Now with your arms, push the carriage out about halfway. Scoop your abdominals in and pull the carriage back in. Good. A little further, go push up, big push. Good. Scoop your abdominals and pull it back in. Go three more times. Inhale out. Now initiate here. Pull down. Yeah, there you go. Good. Keep high heels and pull from the ribs. Good. <laughs> One more time. As you come in, stay in. And let's go to flat feet. So step on the carriage and walk your heels back to your shoulder block for elephant. Now as you shift your hips back, let your head go heavy. So your hips go back any further. That's your shoulder. Good. So your heels are heavy. You're going to lift the abdominals up. Now push the carriage about halfway. Hold it there. Lift your abdominals. Pull the carriage back in. Good. Push out with your heels. Hold it there. Lift your abdominals. Pull the carriage back in. Good. Three more times. Now just your legs and the hips and abdominals. Good. Keep your upper body long. Good. Two more. Use the hips. Pull in and up. Good. Go ahead and just lower down to your knees and step up to the side. Good job. <laughs> All right. Let's go into stomach massage. So have a seat at the, toward the front of the sticky pad. Once you get there, you put your feet on the wood frame. And you're going to come forward. You're going to hold your fingers around the lip of the carriage there. And you're going to try to bring the balls of the feet to the foot bar, heels to the other toes apart. Good. Now go ahead and push the carriage out and really deepen your abdominals. Now round your spine forward and soften your elbows a little bit. 
Now keep all the energy coming back in your belly as you bend your knees, resist, that's going down. Good, push here, out from your abdominals. Now resist, the you're doing good. Inhale, exhale, resist, and up one more time. And as you resist in, push through the balls of your feet to energize the center. Two, You come and stay and lower your feet. And if you would, take off a yellow spring. And bring your feet back and close over. You'll see the shoulder part. Now your hands come back to the shoulder block. And I'm going to have you put the heel of the hand more centered and just turn out like that if that's possible. Now you lift your chest up, press the carriage out with your feet, and now resist the down here. Push with your arms, push with your legs, and lift the down here. Good. Three more times. You're using your arms to keep your upper spine long. The next one, press out and stay. Now lower the heels down one, lift them up, and then resist it in. Now let's move first to it. Out, lower, lift, and resist it in. Pull it up, lower, lift, and in. Now let's get the knees all around. <laughs> Two more. Good. Come all the way in, let your feet rest again. And you're going to reach down, take off that yellow spring, and slide forward just a little bit from two to now gracefully, you're going to step your feet here again, close the other chest apart, but now your arms are going to reach out in front of you, shoulder height. Press out slow, high heels. And as you come in, high heels, lift your chest through the leg. Good. Two. And three. Now as you come in, put your hands around on the bar. Now keep that reach as you push up. Three more. Keep that reach forward as you push your hips out. I'm going to let go. You got it. Keep that reach forward. Good. Now take it to a twist. Open the right arm, keep this arm forward, and press up. As you do it, twist fully. Lift, good. And then come forward and in. Good. Now fully twist out as you press up. Good. And forward and come in. Good. Now as you press out, twist. Reach. And come in. Good. As you press out, twist. Good. One more time, sorry. And come in, step twice. <laughs> Harder when you do it right, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, go ahead and lie on your back. Press your legs out toward the silver bar, heel to the other toes apart, and make sure that is on the urge and not near the pain. Okay, good. All right, so when you're ready, you're going to keep the straps just about an inch or so above the foot bar. So press down just a little bit, yeah. Just notice that space there. We don't want that to rub. So you're going to bend your knees in, keeping that diagonal, just slightly past your hip crease, and then press it back up. Resist the spring in there. And throw it as you want it. Keep that going. You can find some flow. But our work here is definitely to keep the hips grounded. Good. Now take the time. Take an easy breath here. Got two more. Good. Bend your knees and then pause. I'm going to give you the circles and go between your ankles while you have the straps on. So you can't run away. So knees and toes are going to be toward the sky. And when you're ready, you're going to push the legs all the way out. And for now, just hold the circle. Stabilize it. Make sure it doesn't wiggle wobble. Bend your knees just to tabletop. 
and stop. And the ropes and straps can go just outside your knees. When you're ready, back up, just hold the circle steady. That's it. And then bend your knees back in. And just keep that going. Good. I feel like you initiate the movement slightly because you hug the circle a little. And you initiate because you hug it just a little bit. Three more times. Does that feel challenging? Yes. <laughs> Uh, and then it lifts. Good. One more time. And then bend your knees back to tabletop. I'm going to take the circle. Bring your legs together. And you're going to press back up to the silver bar for circles. So you're going to start by lowering the legs a little. Open them as if you're opening the circle. Lift the legs up a little and bring them back together. Hug the circle. Press. Resist. Lift. Now you initiate because you hug. Right? That moves your chair. Three more times. And it's going to be fairly small, so just stay above the shoulder block. Good. And then reverse it. Open the circle. Hug the circle to press the carrot up. Lift up. Open the circle. Hug the circle to push the carrot up. A little more slow. Around and hug. Three more. Around and hug. And then bend your knees all the way in. Keep your feet together, but let your knees open nice and wide. And then just take all the straps, so you're giving yourself a little pull. Let the knees open as much as they look comfortably. Get a little stretch. Okay. You're going to keep holding on to just the right one. You're going to open the leg toward the right. And just keep your hip happy. And you just use the right hand. Just relax your leg. I guess you can still hold it. <laughs> now, how far will that leg go? Can it go all the way out? Bend or straight? Straight to the wall. It doesn't, it doesn't have to. It's not binding. <laughs> Bring my pull in. Bring it back in. Yeah, it doesn't want to do that. Let's go to the other side. Keep it fairly high. And then I want you on this side just to turn the leg out a little bit. Good. And then relax your right hip a little bit. Good. You get a stretch here. Oh, yeah. I get to lay your power on that. <laughs> Good. And then bend your knee in. And let's get the right side today because it's acutely injured. Let's go ahead and take those off and dump them in the well. Step off to your left. I'm just gonna double check the, the weight of the springs real quick. One of these reds is new. Yeah, that's okay. So let's do knee stretches. So you're gonna come onto your knees just like that. Feet to the shoulder blocks, hands on the foot bar. And then sit back so your hips are over the, your Achilles tendon. And then give your tailbone a tuck. And make sure you're nice and grounded here. Push the carriage out halfway. Keep the tuck in the tail and hold the carriage back where it started. Out and in we go. That's right. You can be flowing, even burning on brisk. But what we're working is pushing from here, pulling from here. Good. Four more times. Raise it. Pull. Good. As you come in, hold. Now lift your chest up and feel like you're sticking your tail out a little bit. Sit back to the hair. And now do the same thing. Push. And pull good. Now you have a nice neutral curve in your spine. The abdominals are acting like a backboard. Good. Now go over here. Five. Good. Pull. Equal push. Equal pull. Arms are strong. Good. And as you come in, pause again. Look back to your springs. Face. Your head can actually go down. Tuck the tail under. Good. Now from this tuck and that hug of your imaginary circle, Float your knees up two or three inches and keep them up if you can on your toes. Yeah. Now do the same thing that as the first one, but now your knees are hovering. Bend it in, push up, bend it in. Like a bunny rabbit. Push, jump, jump, pull it in, jump, pull it in. Four more. Good. All right, so they come here. These are exhales. Two more. Gently come in, rest your knees down, good job. Go ahead and lie all the way down, head back to your headrest for running. Like they say, the hardest for last week. Yeah. <laughs> I have a messy feet. <laughs> so let's bring the feet an inch apart, parallel, the knees to the sky. Let your spine is settled. You're going to push the carriage all the way out from that initiation from the abdominals. Now lower one heel just under the bar, bending the knee. Pause. Now spring up, push, stretch. Good. Push, stretch. Push, push. Now as you do so, there's a slight rotation happening 
Try to just make it very low and low. I think I'm more using a little bit of that upper inner thigh. Dry, dry, dry. Good. Now start to take the one that lowers just a little lower to get a little stretch out of it. Good. Six more. Now the heel pushes away, feel the length of your upper spine growing. And then lower one heel, bend the other knee a little more deeply. Let the spring loop give you the stretch. And then switch. Good. Lift both heels up. Bend your knees to come in. And you're going to take your feet as wide as the black pad. It's going to be not too wide. And come onto your arches. Turn your feet out slightly. Let your knees line up with the middle of your foot. For a pelvic lift, you're going to curl the hips up so that you come just below the bra line here. Good, so that space is very rested. You're gonna push the carriage out and lengthen the fronts of your hips. Now fold there, bend your knees to come in, but don't lower the hips. Fold, fold, fold. Good, out, push, lengthen, resist. Good, one more, three more times. You really want the springs work on you, right? So they massage that upper spine space. And then out of that, inhale. Active loop of the spring press into you. Good. And again, just lower your hips down. Go ahead and step off to your left. And we're still in a low bar there. Oops. <laughs> we're still in a low bar there. Oops. Alright, so you're gonna come onto your knees for kneeling split. So hands the bar, feet to your shoulder block. And from here, you're going to take a giant leap. Can you have your right foot come to the bar, or is it better for it to go to the frame? We're out way different. Okay. okay. Now bring your hips forward so your shin bone's almost touching the bar. And this foot, if you can, have it tucked under and the foot fully against the block. If that's too much stretch, just be a little higher. Good. Now push the carriage out with your back foot as you try to keep your hips square and go as far as you can, so much so that the front leg has to start pushing as well. And then bend your front knee, pull your left hip into the front. And you're gonna keep that going. So the goal is that as your legs split, your hip stays neutral, maybe a little bad. A little bad. <laughs> Three more times. Push with your legs, lift your belly, and pull with your hips. Good, one more time. And then just switch legs. Stir your hips up, lift your spine, make sure your upper spine is nice and center when you're ready to rest the carriage out. Push things with the back leg, the front leg then will have a little space to push as well. And then bring that right hip forward. Good. One more time. Now think of the push coming a little more from the back of the leg. So the hip is always getting opened. you can step off to your left. Okay, let's do a little bit of mat work. So let's slide down with your head at that end, feet at this end. And then just bend your knees into your chest. Take two deep breaths to let your spine settle. All right, what you're gonna do is curl the head and shoulders back up. Arms long, legs out. Let's do the 100 again for conditioning. Pump things vigorously. Inhale to your back. Exhale. Watch those abdominals screw. Inhale. Exhale, push the air out. Good, now try to keep that feeling as you inhale. Good. One, two, three, four, five, exhale. Two, three, four, five, two more breaths. One, two, three, four, five, exhale. Two, three, four, five, good. One more time, like you're so long. Scoop, 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 curl, curl, curl. And bend your knees and rest your head back. Good, walk up to a seated position. Spin around because your strap is at this end. Hook your feet under the bar or the strap. Legs together. And lay all down. Maybe the bar has a little weight to it. So hold it so it's your hands are as wide as your shoulders. Give the uh, strap a nice tug here. And let's float the bar overhead as far as you don't displace. 
and then lift the bar up to the ceiling. Lift your head up, use the strap roll all the way up for a roll up. Round forward until you can't roll anymore. Good, and start to roll back. Keep the strap strong. Take the arms slightly overhead, keep the ribs soft. Good, lift the arms, lift the head, inhale. Exhale, push the air up, round and forward. Right away, inhale, pull, reach back. Exhale, roll it down, beautiful, keep that in. Four more times. Shoulders engaged in your sockets and just slightly pull your ribs into your core. Good. Does that feel good? Yeah. Good. Keep pulling those ribs into your core. Not the shoulders quite so much, more ribs. Yeah. There you go. Now I'm going to let go. That's great. That's all I really want to see. <laughs> it is possible. Isn't it? <laughs> good. So bend your knees a little bit. Keep your uh, left foot under the strap and take your right leg to the ceiling. Keep the knees slightly soft. Good. First circle. Knee soft, quad soft. Good. Keep the leg across the body without moving the hip. Lower, open the leg, and come back to center. And you're going to keep that circle going while keeping the hips quiet. Three more. Across, around, and back up. Now, that thing you just did with your ribs with your arms, can you find them again? <laughs> Good. And then after this one, reverse it six times. Open, scoop, and come up. And can you find that from? Things more in your hip, more in your center than just your leg muscles. Two more. Good. Bend that knee to your chest and take that stretch. And then switch legs. So soft knee, soft, soft quad. Bring the leg across. Lower, open, and come back to the center. I'm going to try really hard to not just use your leg muscles. Two more. Around and back up. Scoop. Use your belly. Around and up. Reverse it. Open. Around and back up. Good. Two more. And then bend that knee to your chest. Okay, let's keep this strap off just one more time since the hamstrings are a little tighter than usual. Take the handle. Put your right foot inside the circle. This knee, let's keep this knee fully bent. So relax your pelvis into the mat so your pelvis is really settled, and then try as much as you can to straighten the leg while gently pulling back on it. Bend the knee, soften it. We'll do that three more times, right? So it's as much tension here as there is here. And then bend. Feels nice, right? One more. Just be careful if you feel like it's not healthy to have anything pulled or torqued. Three more. So, and again, remember, it's not about necessarily getting the legs straight. It's about creating as much tension here, as much push, so the joints stay connected and the muscles get the stretch. Good. Add that torque here. The stronger your muscles, the more you have to stabilize those joints. One more. Good. And then bend that knee. I'm going to take the circle. Hug your knees in, rock up to a seated position for a rolling like a ball. So just cover the feet, hug the backs of your legs today, open your knees slightly, put feet together, chin to chest, rock to your shoulders, and then come up and balance. Stop yourself. Good. Now massage the spine. Huh? And good. Three more. So give them the lower ribs, the back, and the waist. <laughs> And then just rest your feet down. Go ahead and lie all the way down. We'll do the ad series. Just a quick one. Bend your knees to your chest. Take both hands around your right knee. Send your left leg out to the diagonal. Now see if this hand can come to your ankle. Right, so you're going to stabilize the knee and joint. And then switch leg. Stabilize, switch. Good. You can curl up now. So yeah, time to get the legs going. There you go. Good. Now have a little tug of war with that leg. Resist. Resist. Three. Two. 
One, pull both knees in, now take your arms by your ears, legs both down to the silver bar, open the arms, circle into your hips, bending your knees, and get more. In, out, reach. Exhale, pull down into your legs, pull it, stretch it, and then pull it in. Stretch it, pull it in. Two more. Bend your knees in, let your head rest for a second. We're going to skip scissors today since you have kind of that acute pull going on. So let's take your hands under your hips, make a little pillow for your pelvis, keep your head down. Legs go up to the ceiling, heels together, toes ever so slightly apart. Now soften the knees so you have a small diamond shape. And when you're ready, now lower the legs just beyond that silver bar. I'm going to bring them to 90, stop, good, lower. Now use right here, lift, then lower. Now stop, lift, yes. Pull them in to lift, good, four more. So you're trying to get your leg muscles out of get that lower belly back. Lower body doesn't work anymore. Now bend your knees in, take your hands out, put the hands behind the head, and curl up. Send the legs up. But maybe just a soft, just slightly soft knee so you can have it down here. And now lower. Pull the lower belly in, lift a little further. Three, two, one, and up. Pull in. Got three more like that. That's perfect. Pull in. <laughs> and then rest your head back for a second. And now let's do a quick crisp across. So hands behind your head to curl up. Send the right leg out and twist to your left knee. Other way, other way. <laughs> no, no. So you're gonna twist to the bent knee. Twist to the bent knee, right? There you go. Let's twist to the right. Good. If you hadn't said right and left, I would have been able to do Good. On your next one, come back to the center and pause. Go ahead and lift up a little bit. Good. Now stay that lifted and twist to the right. Twist to the right. Yes, you're ready. And we'll stay bent. Left leg goes out. Lift, switch, lift, switch. Okay, we'll let go. We'll just keep that going. Stay lifted. Stay lifted. Two more. Don't pull back. Stay lifted. One more. And rest. All right, hug your knees in. Walk up to a seated position. Spine stretch forward. Just if your legs out long as wide as your mat. Toes up. Arms out in front of you. You can have your knees very soft. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, round through the bar. Inhale, pull the center back in. Exhale, round through the bar. Good. Now inhale up. Now remember from the box, when we hug the hips, you find that little bit of a hug, and then round forward from that in and up. Go over the barrel. Inhale, back up. Keep the hug one more time. Exhale, all the air out though, but keep the hug, hug, hug. Inhale, and then rest your head. Let's go ahead and just do a soft. So arms out wide. Make sure you can see your fingers in your periphery. And then you're gonna twist to the right and soft your pinky toe. Good. Four and up. That's fine. And up to the center. Twist left. Soft. And up. Just so gentle. Find that breathe. And up. Push on me to help you get more stretch forward. And up. And push on me so you get a little more stretch forward. Good. One more time each side. Dive. Good. Push in the legs as you can reach forward. Good. And then press it down as well. Alright. Go ahead and turn around. Put your feet against the silver folds. Let's do a roll back. So your knees will stay bent, ball will be on the fold. Hands over the bar, they can be as wide as the springs today. You want to have your hands as much draped over the bar as possible. Now sit up tall, sl lean slightly back, just to engage the springs, but you feel them getting taut. And then curl the tail under and start to roll. You're going to go all the way down, shoulders, head, and then slide the shoulder blades underneath you. Now you're going to lift your head up. You're going to start to peel your spine off. You're pushing the bar toward the toes. Beautiful. Dive all the way forward. And then sit up nice and tall. Good. Hinge back a little and get the springs active. So you can hinge back a little further. Good. Now stay there. Tuck the tail and roll it back. Take those springs with you into your abdominals. And then lift the head. Press the spring toward the thighs, toward the knees, toward the shins to come up. Round forward to complete the action. Now let's do one more time. Up, here you go. Hinge back a little. 
and a little more sugar. Okay, let's just raise it. Okay, and let that bar go. And spin around and lie down with your head where your feet were. I'm going to do some leg swing. Put your hands on the poles and pull yourself maybe halfway in. This should be fun. Put that magic circle with your leg. Okay. Oh, pretty much. I'd actually just call the guillotine. <laughs> yeah, so this part of it was originally called the guillotine because it resembles it like that. Take your hands, put the straps on your feet, and then your hands will go back in the poles in just a second. So bring your hands up three inches or so, and elbows are up, so you're really creating a frame for yourself. Heels together. We're just going to do frogs. So you're going to press your legs out long and low. Let's go low, so you really have to press the back of your legs. Now resist the springs in. You're going to come straight in, long and low up. Resist it in. Keep that going. And again, yeah, you're gonna you'll stop just before the springs click. Just a little brisker without losing any precision. Heels stay pressed together so gracefully. <laughs> Just think of lengthening the springs from the length of your muscles. You're going to open your legs just as wide as your shoulders. And now inner thighs are going to squeeze them back together. Your legs are going to open, your inner thighs are going to be the brakes. Now the outer thighs are going to get longer as you squeeze those inner thighs back together. Get three more times. Your inner thigh works as good as mine. Your right one is as good as my right one. <laughs> Time. And as you bring the legs together, we're going to do some circles. So you're going to lift the legs up together, open them as wide as your shoulders, back down and back together. And up a little wider, open and back down and back together. And just flowing with it up or around and back. Remember what we do with the circle again on the reformer? The hug is what initiates the movement. Good. One more time and then just reverse it. Hug, press. Raise this open hug, press. together. Perfect. Okay, so the springs are active. Press the right leg down by itself and just lengthen it. Resist it up and switch legs. Left leg press. So lengthen it. Resist up. Three more times. And we're just really thinking about these hip points stabilizing. So they don't twist as the leg moves. They don't twerk. They don't do a thing but just stay happy and home. Okay. Bring the legs together. Press both legs back down. You're going to open the legs wide as your shoulders again. Squeeze them together. So now do it as these. Open, hook, up, in, up, in. And the spring should stay nice and steady in the water. Oh. <laughs> now bring the legs fully together. Heels together, toes apart. Wrap one leg over the other and switch briskly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go back to the feet. Open, close, briskly. Think big toe knuckles kissing each other. So there's almost an inward feeling. Four, three, two. One, do one more set of breaths. In, 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 scoop, get down with back. Three, two, one. And then turn it into a, a bicycle. Bend one knee and switch. For now, let the knees brush the insides of the springs. And then pick up the pace. Switch, switch, switch. It's a bicycle, right? You're not going to go in really <laughs> Good. Now slow it down and reverse it. See if your knees can now go outside the springs, with the feet staying close together without flicking the springs. Just slow, big full range of motion. Three, two, one. Good. Bend the knees in and get rid of those. Just dump them away.
handle the chain for some arm strength. And let's keep the knee bent feet and knees together so there's a little bit of presence there. Arms long, you'll press the arms straight down by your sides. And then we just want to find the muscles all along the sides and backs of the ribs while the ribs still stay soft. And then you're going to float the arms up. Let's go halfway. Press. You're going to find those little muscles around here, right? And now use those to lift the arms as well. Beautiful. Press. You can really do this. But I'm going to let go. you got five more. Just let that. You may not be able to put the shoulder anymore, but... <laughs> <laughs> so that thing about the upper ribs staying really back and soft. And next one, press down by your side and stay. Find those little side rib muscles again and little tiny circles both arms by your side. Up and around, around, around. You pull the shoulders back. And then reverse it. Eight, seven, six, yeah, eight. And then keep the arms by your sides, but now put them right on the mat. And just bend the elbows, elbows down, fingers up. Correct, back up. Keep in. And we'll curl the knees and curl the legs nice and long. Stretch them out. Good. On the next one, keep both arms long by your sides. So you're hugging your elbows to it towards your waist. Now just the right arm by itself, bend five times. Good. We're going to plug the elbow in to Push, hug to move. After five, just do the other side. Hug to move. There are a few things you can do this in. <laughs> Get that rib over here. <laughs> Use the back of the shoulder. Too much, do too much. Good, bend the elbows and get rid of those. <laughs> I know how you're cheating. I know, because I do the same thing. <laughs> All right, so let's slide that way so you're about three inches from the end of the mat, about a hand's width. Reach up and grab the wooden bar. And we're gonna do pelvic lift. Or breathing, I'm sorry, breathing. So if you would, place your ankles on the strap. Toes turned out. And if you can tuck the strap great, and let me know if that is irritable or uncomfortable. Good. So arms are straight, shoulders are back. Let's just start with the arms. You're going to press your arms toward your toes, using those lovely muscles you just did with the spring. It doesn't have to go all the way out of the seat, and then resist that. Make sure the wrist stays nice and neutral. They're pushing through the heels of your hands. Can you get any more of your hand going too far? Yeah. So it really comes here. And only has one place to go out that it goes in your hand. One more time. Good. Now keep your arms over your chest. Keep those muscles plugged in the back. Now just try to lift your hips up. Push out with your leg. Push, push, push. And now roll it down. Ribs, waist, hips. Do it again. Caress out. Push, push, push. And now roll down. Good. Now let's do the two together. So they're going to help each other. You're going to push with your arms and lift, and then resist back. Resist with the arms, resist with the shoulders. Good. Now let's add a breath. Inhale everything up, hold everything, even the breath. Now take a long exhale to melt back to your mat. Two more times. Inhale up, use all of the forces together. Exhale back. Good, two more. I want you to work this all the way to the hip. Make them work together. Shoulder blade to hip. Resist the back. Good. One more time. Push with those legs. Exhale it back. Good. Get rid of that bar. Get rid of the strap. Hug your knees to your chest for a quick second there. And then come on up to standing. And actually stand on the cattle then. Turn around and face this little bar. You're going to take hold of this bar and stick just enough so that you have some tension on it. That's the bar. Should get right there. Now, heels together and toes apart. Keep your heels really grounded. 
And you're gonna roll the shoulders back and pull the bar toward your hips and connect here and connect there and then resist the bar away. And close this way. Do that twice more from your shoulder blades, from your abdominals, your hips all working together. Good. Breathe this through. One more time. So let's add a heel lift. So as you pull the springs, float your heels up together. Work it all together in and reinforce. One more time. Fix the abdominals and the shoulders. And release this. Now just for fun, press up and stay. Keep your center strong. Now pump the bar ten times without anything else. Moving, wobbling, letting go. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heels. Good. Let's get rid of the bar. You're going to step to the poles and hold on them about hip height for a flying or spread eagle. Bring the balls of the feet up on the bars. On the bars? Yeah. yeah. And then hold low. Get the bar. Now just hang back for a second. Hope this will make sense. Chin this back. Good. Now you're slightly almost trying to pull yourself forward with your shoulders. You're trying to align your ribs up over your hips. So everything back here is getting a lovely stretch, right? Now pull yourself forward, just watch out for the bars in front of you, and just lift your chest up, pull yourself tall. Good, do that twice more, hinge back, think ribs coming back, ribs pulling back as your shoulders pull forward. And then lift up, pull your chest tall. One more time. I know, right? Pull yourself forward. Now this time as you keep your chest lifted, Hang back and just feel your spine. So I'm sorry, your head stays lifted, looking up. Don't do a back bend. You can slightly look up to the ceiling if it's accessible. Heart lifting, shoulders pulling the heart to the sky. Hang for one more breath. And pull yourself up and step down. Take a moment. 